I think that all good artists to some degree are frustrated, uh, probably a Hector's, because to share that experience that comes within you that is unexplainable, which is almost like the epiphany or that thing you have, how do you, how do you share that? I come from a school that's more commercially based, even though it has a heavy load of fine arts. But for me, I was never happy just doing children's books, stories, Christmas cards, uh, editorial stories, uh, you name it. Then when I went to New Orleans in 1991, that's when I realized that I had to do my own work. So therefore, I needed a commercial job. For me, it became events, uh, murals, uh, theatrical type of things. There is a sense of vaudeville in my work. There's a sense of uh, uh, abstraction. There's a lot of sense of reality. There's a sense of, uh, I think in some degree, yeah, I, I think there's a definite theatrics to my work. And it's like you have this mini stage that all of a sudden he appears on. Like you'll see behind here where there's a, uh, the dark space. To me, it's coming out of the void. Uh, there's even some reminiscence of little stars and things in there, and it's like he's appeared out of the void, and here he is, you know, and there's this backdrop of this kind of semi-abstract uh, universe behind him. Round and around and around man goes, where he stops don't nobody know. Got some dirt betwixt his toes, but he don't care cause it don't show. Woo! I will quote a real famous artist that I like, um, uh, Jasper John. You know, do something to it, do something else to it, do something else to it, do something else to it. It's kind of like his theorem, you know. It's, it's just like that's the way it is. I had this image of these double hat men I'd been working with, which is kind of a connection between men. To me, it was more the way I wanted to show this piece for living in New Orleans. To me, it just felt like it felt like the New Orleans I was living in at the time. With that work, from the earlier periods in my life, it's all there. But as usual as anybody else experiences of life, if you're open to it, you bring all those experiences and hopefully you flower into something else. You know, uh, Without sounding melancholy, you flower into something else. In the mind's eye, what does that mean? To me, it means a whole bunch of things, but I'm trying for that second to make any person be able to stop and look at it and ponder for a second. You know, what does it mean to them? <laughs>